People often ask me, what does the alcohol content have to do with the quality of the wine? And in most cases, it really has no, very little impact on it. If you look at the wines and liquors of the world, uh, we're required to put the alcohol level on the side, but it's not always a relevant number based on the quality of the product itself. This vodka is at 40% alcohol. Our wines are typically between 13 and 15% alcohol. But what does that mean? It really doesn't mean much unless the wine's out of balance. If the sugars, acids, and uh, tannins are in line with the alcohol, it makes a great bottle of wine. If any one of those is out of whack, it detracts from the quality of the wine. Alcohol can also provide a burning sensation in your mouth if it's out of balance, or what some people call a hot wine. The only time I really look at the labels for alcohol content is possibly if you're going to buy a big Zinfandel and you're not familiar with the producer, take a look at the alcohol level. Sometimes they can get up in the high 16s and that wine could be hot. It uh, doesn't necessarily mean so, but it's much more difficult to balance that high of alcohol. On the other side of the spectrum, I often look at red wines and if it's a Cabernet or a Petit Syrah, if their sugar or their alcohol level is under 13%, it tells me one of two things. One, there's probably still some residual sugar in there that I don't care for. Or two, the grapes were picked very lean and so the wine is not gonna be as full bodied as I'm, as I'm looking for. So glance at the alcohol, but don't get hung up on it. Taste the wine and, and find out how balanced that wine is. That's the key for alcohol.